So before we go look at the map operator, I want to show you guys the changes that I made in our application so that we can stop looking at stuff from the console here. So I'm showing all of the users here on the table and I'm going to show you those changes that, that I made in the application, but you should be able to get the source code in the lecture so that you can uh, follow along with this. So we can still see what's going on in the log in case we have to uh, look at this again, but you know, we can stop looking at this for now and then just look at the UI so that we can see what we're doing better. So I'm going to collapse this for now and then I'm going to show you what I did. It's very simple. I just, uh, in the component, I defined this new users field and I set it as a, an array of users. And then down below where I'm getting all the users, I just set that users to the response. Okay. And then in the component, I have some basic, you know, uh, bootstrap styling, and then I have a table. And then here I just loop over all of the users and then I show some of the information and it looks like this. Okay. So, all right. So now let's say, uh, I'm just going to try to come up with some scenario, but you know, you looking at this, you will be able to, you know, to say, Hey, I think I can use this in my project for uh, this or a specific feature or something. But I just, I'm just going to show you some examples as to what we can do to manipulate the data and then change the data in some way. So we're looking at this list of users and this list is coming from a backend API, which means we don't really have a lot of uh, power over changing this data, uh, you know, because it, we, we don't own this data. We're calling some API and then we're showing this data like this. So let's imagine your client or whatever, uh, they come to you and then they say, Hey, we want to have all of the first name uppercase, right? We know we can't change the data in the back end, but is there a way we can do that in the front end? And yes, you can do that in the front end using the map operator. Now there are other ways to do it as well. You don't have to use RxJS and the, you know, with the map operator and all that stuff to do this. You can just get all the users in the, in the component and then, you know, run them through some array or something, add some logic and then change this. So there are many other ways you can achieve the same thing, but I'm going to show you how it's usually done. Uh, whenever you're working with the Angular HTTP and you're making requests, then you can just change the data as soon as you get it, even before you send it over to the component. So let's go back to the application and we want to go to the service. Now let's say we want to map this data to something else, right? Let's say we're going to put all the name to uppercase. So we can use the map operator inside of this function to do that as well so that we can manipulate the data in that way. So to pipe in another operator, you just put a comma and then you put the name of the operator and then uh, you work with the operator there. And we're going to import this as well. It's supposed to come from the same library. So RxJS operators. So the map is going to take the source observable. In that case, we're going to call it users because we know we're getting a bunch of users. And then here, what I want to do is I want to put my transformation. Okay. So if you want to learn more about the map operator and how it works, you have to go here. Okay. Uh, because this is like a whole explanation that I have to do, but I'm just going to show you how you can use it really quickly. And then maybe later after you watch this lecture, then you can go ahead and look into it some more, but let's just go ahead and use it. So here, let's say I want to take these users and then make all of the names uppercase and then send that over to the component. So we're going to use the map operator so that we can do this. And then what we can do is we can take all those users and then uh, map over them again. So here we're calling the JavaScript map because we know this is an array and this right here is more or like an observable as you can see here. But then here we're calling the uh, arrays on uh, in JavaScript. Whenever you have some array, then you can call the map on that uh, specific array or the map function. And in here, what we want to do when we map all of those users is to change the information that we want to take. So we're going to say for every user in that map, whenever we're mapping on the array, we want to execute some code. So we're going to do something like this and then run our code here. So what I want to do is I want to take everything in the existing user and only change the name. So what I can do is I can do something like this. So I'm going to say, I want to return a new object just like that. And then what I want to do is copy everything else that I already have on that object. So I can use the uh, spread operator here and then do something like this. So I can say, Hey, give me everything on that user. And then I'm going to add in some more. But this time, I'm not really going to add something. I'm just going to override an existing property on that object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say add another property, which is name. But since name already exists, it's just going to go ahead and override it. And I can say for that user, get the name of that user. And then since it's a string, then I can call to uppercase on it. So you can see how I can use the map operator, which is being used here 
forget about the tab for a second. I can comment this out just so you can focus on the map operator. It's a little bit tricky because we're using map here and then again we're using map here. And this is a little bit tricky sometimes because they have the same name but they're two different functions. Actually, this map operator from ArcGIS, it's built using this map here a little bit, but they're a little bit different. Uh, but if you look at the documentation, you will see that a lot of those operators, they're built upon existing functions that you have on a really like filter, at least the transforming RxJS operators. But anyway, so here we're mapping the users. Now remember, this is one event, which is to say that whenever the HTTP response resolve, it's going to emit once, even though it's a list or an array of users, it's only going to emit once, which is the HTTP response. So that's not going to happen multiple times. So we're going to take this observable and then say, hey, we're going to do some logic with it, which is going to happen from after this arrow here. So we're going to say, take this array and then map every value in that array. Oops. And then use every user inside of it to copy every existing attributes that they have. So we're using the spread operator and then we're going to set a new one, which is the name. But since the name already exists on this object, it's just going to go ahead and override it. And then we're just taking the name and then turn it to uppercase. So now if we go back, you will see that all the names are uppercase. So you can see already how powerful the map operator is because we can literally like manipulate the data in any way, shape or form that we want.